Hey everybody, and welcome to this week's Cyber Story. This week, we're gonna look at IOT, Internet of Things. I'm sure you've seen it in the news, heard about the vulnerabilities. Well, who does it affect and why should we care? Let's roll. Okay, Shield Cyber Story. We're gonna start trying to make these a little shorter than we have been. We've been doing a lot of explaining, a lot of getting into some details, but now that we're starting to get some momentum here, let's see if we can tighten these up so you can get on with your day. So today I'm not gonna look at one story. We're gonna run through some Internet of Things threats. Internet of Things uh, vulnerabilities that have been out there. What is the Internet of Things? It's literally things that are on the internet, whether it be your Jeep, a couple of years ago, IBM found that they could take control of certain models of Jeeps. They could speed them up, slow them down, mess with the computer, and cause all sorts of havoc if they really wanted to. Medical devices. Medical de devices that are normally used to being connected to, 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 set, uh, to set scanning, to set paces and pacemakers, that sort of thing. A couple of years ago, same thing, found that there was a, a weakness in those uh, pacers that could actually be hacked and people can drain the battery they can mess with the, the actual pace of it. Life threatening. What else? Really recently in the news, you probably saw the uh, the doorbell company that has the camera built in. Someone hacked in and they were not only spying on, but communicating with a couple's kids. Scary, scary stuff. Internet of things, things plugged into the internet. And what we're gonna specifically talk about right now, really quickly, are manufacturers. You are the biggest target. If you're a manufacturer, and like most manufacturers, you have some of your equipment plugged into the internet, things like vending machines. We have a client who uses a vending machines that they put, they put third party blades into and when the blades that they use for the machinery get low, it automatically orders more. If you have saws for glass, for metal, for PVC, that you are copying files from your network, if you're using anything that's network based, typically a lot of times what we see are applications where manufacturers are inputting data and it automatically pushes it to some sort of a machine on their network. If you stop and step back and just think about what could go wrong if someone were to mess with those settings, we will have a client who does CNC manufacturing. They do all of their quality through their computers. The, they do quality measurements. Can you imagine if someone got in there and changed the quality settings and now they're providing major parts for major machinery and now there's a quality issue. It could cost them millions. It could cost them lawsuits. Internet of things. It's where it's the biggest weakness is, is that those things that you're plugging into the internet are not being secured properly. Meaning that when you plug in that piece of machinery, that vending machine, that machine that, that measures quality, special attention has to be taken because those manufacturers in most cases are not looking at security. They're looking at functionality to get your job done. Your IT department, your managed service provider, your IT provider needs to be securing those properly. And this all comes down to the way your firewall is configured. Talk to your IT provider, make sure they're securing it properly. If you need help, drop us a line, give us a call, and we'd be happy to help. Unfortunately, this is one of, this is one of the topics that is just too complex to go into all the settings. You definitely need a professional IT provider that can configure your network in such a way that you won't be affected by these types of internet threats. Anyways, you guys have a great week and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much.